Shoe fly pie is a cake-like pie that has a crumbly crust on top and a gooey molasses on the bottom. It's not as sweet as you would think, and it goes great with coffee in the morning. The Amish and Mennonite settlers in North America were the first to make this pie using the non-perishable staples that they brought with them on the boat, like molasses and flour and sugar. Folklore is that the sweet molasses attracted flies as the pie was baked and left to cool outdoors. So start with the pre-made pie crust, chilled in the refrigerator. Here's my recipe. Combine two and a half cups all-purpose flour with a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. Mix that up. Then add three-fourths cup chilled cube butter, that's one and a half sticks, and then a half a cup of all vegetable shortening. Slowly mix that together until it's crumbly like cornmeal. Slowly add six to eight tablespoons of very cold water. Pat it down, cover it over with some wax paper, and roll it out until it's nice and flat. I'm using a deep dish pie pan. Take off the wax paper, crinkle the sides, and put it in the refrigerator. All right, now let's make the crumbs. You need a cup of flour, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a fourth of a cup of cold shortening. I put this in the freezer for five minutes. Now uh, with a pastry blender or fork, I need a fork, mash that up until it creates crumbles. Add a pinch of salt. Filling in another bowl, add a half a cup of molasses, half a cup of white corn syrup, then add two eggs, lightly beaten, and mix this up. We need a cup of hot water. And to the hot water, add a teaspoon of cornstarch. And stir that up until it dissolves. And then add the hot water with the cornstarch into your filling mix. And stir it up nicely, and then set it aside going to need a pie crust that has been chilled. You can make your own or you can use the store-bought kind. Pour half of the filling into the pie crust and then sprinkle half of the crumbs. You want to get some of that flour in there so that it will thicken up the molasses but don't stir it too much because you want it layered. And then the rest of the filling, oops it only covered one side. And then top it off with the rest of the crumbs. Spread that around a bit. You're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes and then bring the temperature down to 350 and cook it for 45 to 50 more minutes. It smells awesome while it's baking. You can serve it warm or cold can add a little whipped cream on top. And if you like molasses, you'll probably like this pie. And this recipe uses half corn syrup and half molasses, so the molasses is tamed down a bit. And it does taste good with coffee. Thanks for watching.